Hi everyone, this is my second video in which we look at numbers. In the first part I will show you what types of numbers we know. At the beginning I create few variables. Python supports three types of numbers, so I create three variables. As you can see I created three variables, integer, float and complex, which are also names of these types. All positive and negative numbers without decimal expansion are represented by a type integer. All numbers with decimal expansion are represented by float. And all complex numbers are represented by complex. Now I am using function print to show them. As you can see, I wrote decimal instead of float, because I have already said before, float represents decimal numbers. In the next section, I will show you how to change the variable type, and what happens if you do it. I create a variable number and assign it a decimal value, so by default the variable is float. Then I create few control prints to see how the variable changes by retyping. Now I retype the variable to integer by using function int. At the end of the video you will see that after this variable lost the decimal expansion, but don't round up to 4, because when you change a decimal number to an integer, it will remain just integer part of the number. So when we change a decimal number to integer, the number lost decimal expansion. Now we change type of number back to float. As you will see it cause the numbers will be extended on dot and zero but not 84. The operation cause problems because we lose data permanently. In the next section I will show you operations with numbers. All operations are with two numbers. First operation is addition. I am using in it operator plus. After each operation I use control print to show you how a result looks. The next operation is subtraction. In this operation we use operator minus. Addition and subtraction are operations with the lowest priority and are executed at last. Third operation is multiplication. It uses operator star. The operation can be applied to any type of number.
fourth operation is division. It uses operator slash. If one of the operand is float, so the result of the operation will be float 2. Fifth operation is integer division. It uses operator double slash. Result of integer division is always integer. Sixth operation is modulo. It uses operator percentage. Multiplication, division, integer division and modulo are operations with higher priority than addition and subtraction. The last operation is exponentiation. It uses operator two stars. The operation have the highest priority from all of these operations. In the next section I will show you abbreviate notation. Abbreviate notation is used when we use one of previous operations with variable which we use to save result 2. Now I show you addition and subtraction without abbreviation. Then I show you abbreviate notation of these operations and all other operations. I will not write control print because are the same operations as above.
At the end, I show you compound notation. I use some of the operations above in example to show you how operation priority works. Below example, I write one print to show result. Below I write this example with parentheses to show you how program counts step by step. Now I can show you what my prints write to output. As you can see, first part print my numbers. In the second part we change type of float to integer and back. And we lost decimal expansion. Then we can see results of all operations. And at the bottom final result of equation. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos, subscribe my channel. If you have some question, write in the comments.